if you just come to amazon.com and it's like, okay, there are some ways you can start doing research right here. One of them is just like, like I talked about, if you just type stuff in here, it automatically gives you results. And these results are based off of the most popular searches, which means a ton of traffic, which is, which means that like, these are most likely products that make a lot of sales. So I like it. It's kind of underrated, I think, but this is a really good place to do pop product research. Um, it's like right here, five stick, Fitbit, face mask, face shield. I know I wouldn't, those are probably just think I haven't actually done the research, but I would imagine that those are pretty competitive right now. So yeah. Like East line leggings for women. I, like just that might be niche enough to go look into and find something in there. But um, you know, if you just type another letter, you get a whole different list of results here. So like, you know, that's going to be seasonal, but you know, that's a pretty niche product, probably a felt Christmas tree for toddlers. Um, a feet like that one to me looks like maybe a good one. So here I'll, we'll get back to black box in a second, but this is like straight up how I would do it. Even if I was just about to go like do black box, I, I might just randomly do what exactly what I just did. And now I'm looking at this random feet peeling mask product, which my guess is it's probably going to have some decent demand. Let's take a look. And yeah, I think you've already been doing it, but feel free to completely interject and stop me if you have any questions or you need me to explain anything in more detail. Cool. So you'll just go into the search box, type in like a random letter and then just kind of see the results that pop up and look for the more the most niche yeah. looking product, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty much it, yeah. I'll say this, I don't know if you do or don't, but um, I don't pay attention to these averages because they literally just add up the columns and take the average of like the adding up each number in the column, which it, it skews it a bit. It came because you could have like one person with a thousand reviews and one person with one, one review and they'll average mm -hmm. that up to like 500 reviews. And it's, so it doesn't make sense. So I, I just ignore these. Yeah. Um, and then the first thing I do is I just look at the sales column and I like to sort it. Um, maybe sometimes the first thing I'll do is click how to change it. Can I delete these still? It's not letting me. Sponsored ones? Yeah. yeah. I like to get rid of those if I can. It's not letting me really click stuff because it's not loaded yet. Let's see if it'll let me sort the sales column. Yeah, it will. I don't know. There we go. Okay. So yeah, like I said, that's crazy demand. Like that's all. And that's, that's one really cool thing. Dude, the, the search bar works. I don't know how else to put it. It seems like kind of like it's just sitting right on Amazon. So it's just easy to overlook, but it works like that. So that's like, is this competitive? Yeah, well, I'm about to look at that. So we'll jump over to the reviews column. And yeah, that's a lot of reviews. But yeah. let's see. So, and so, so this, uh, sorry. Um, sometimes I'm bad at voicing when I'm like what I'm thinking as I'm trying to do the research. But yes, yeah. yeah, so, what so what I did is I identified high demand and then I'm looking at the reviews column. And my first thought is, wow, that's crazy, crazy, crazy competitive, like not even close to what I would be interested in. But mm -hmm. I, but then I'll also scroll down. And what I'm looking for is if I see, you know, like we can see up here, it's 13,000, 26,000, 11,000, 9,000, like crazy numbers. But as we start to scroll down, it starts to drop. So in my head, I'm thinking, well, there's so much demand up here. Maybe if I just scroll down, maybe we'll start hitting reviews in the 10, 20, 50, 80 review range, which is more feasible to me. And maybe some of those people are getting, you know, instead of 70,000 sales per month, maybe they're making like a thousand or 4,000 or 700. But if you run the math on that, if you're making 4,000, let's just say a thousand, if you can make a thousand sales a month at a $10 profit margin, that's really good. That's really good money. You made 10,000, yeah. you know, so then I, so that's the next thing I'm doing is scrolling down and seeing if the review count drops into a range that I think is feasible. And so right there is where I kind of start to see it. You got 12, a one, a 38, 68, 75, 42. And so then I jump back over to the sales column and see kind of what that correlates to as far as sales. And it's a couple hundred, a few hundred. So the way I now look at this product is I go, okay, if I launch this product and get 10, 30, 40 reviews on it, I can make probably up to a few hundred sales. And then if I want to make more sales than that, the way I look at this is how many reviews do I need to then get up to? 
And it looks like if I want to get into the four or five to a thousand and up range, I've got to start getting closer to a hundred and up reviews, maybe even more than that. Now there's a couple in here that, and, and, and it's okay that there's outliers and there will be. So like right here, there's some that are 66 and you think, well, why wouldn't you say then that with 66 reviews, you can get a thousand sales because it's really only this one person that's doing that. And so I look at that as more of a fluke and maybe, maybe it's legit, but it would, it, it at least would require more investigation. I don't look at that as proof that if I launch and get 60 reviews, I can make 1200 sales. Right. But, but down here, because I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different sellers within a one to 75 review range, getting a couple hundred sales. That's pretty clear evidence to me that for um, one to 75 reviews, if I launch this product, I could get 200, Two. 300 sales. Okay. Uh, now you'd also need to account for like how quickly you could launch the product because maybe things change a bit in the time period. But that's for the most part, that's basically how I look at this is just like the correlation between review count and sales. And, yeah. you know, within a, and I'm basically what I'm trying to find is if within, is within 30, 40 reviews, can I get 200, 500, 1,000 sales? And does that profit wise um, work for me? Which is a really important, like you really always got to run the number. Like the, I'm just first trying to identify supply demand. Like is there demand and is there room for me to jump in there? And if it does look that way, then the next step is the numbers, like identifying what my profit margin potentially would be. Um, and then if that checks out, then that then I'm looking at it like a good product to launch. But yeah, so that one like was too competitive or actually, let's see. I mean, my kind of feeling is two or 300 sales a month is probably not worth it, but let's see. Cause they're selling them for 10, 15, so let's just say we were to sell them for, let's just say 10 bucks. So I'd go to Alibaba, I'd even type just feet mask. Are these the same thing? I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't even look at what this product is. That's, and that's also, I don't know if it's worth anything yeah. to you, but that's how I do research, man. I don't even honestly, like, I didn't even look at what these actually. So you don't are. use black box? What's that? Yeah. So black box, I was going to say, you said you start at black box and kind of like to so the starting point and then go to Amazon, but. Yeah. Like, would you do anything more? Like, what would you do on black box exactly? Or do yeah. you just not use black box? Like pretty much not at all. No, I'll show you right now. I just like, I just kind of, you know, there's no, like, this is the way step-by-step step you have to do. It. It's just like kind of yeah. going and start looking at things. And so yeah. I was going to show you black box, but then I was like, Oh, I'll show them the search bar real fast. And then I just yeah. the search bar method. But I'll show you black box right now. Um, yeah, no, whatever, whatever you do and whatever works for you. Like, I'm not, I'm not tied to kind of black box or anything like that. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to, I just wanted to see if like, just for the heck of looking at it, if these numbers would work out at all. Um, yeah. So like, like these are pretty cheap. I, I'd imagine. Yeah. You can get them for like half a buck. So what percentage of your, your sale price should your, your, uh, your product be when you source it? Like on, like, what would you say ballpark? Like, I just don't look at it that way. I'd rather just do what I'm trying to show you here, which is, so I looked at how much their people are selling them for, which I estimated about, we're going to say about 10 bucks Yeah. And on here at how much they cost me. So let's say 50 cents. So 10 bucks minus 50 cents, 950, and then subtract out. Well, let's call let's call it a dollar because you've got shipping costs in there. Maybe you do custom packaging. So let's say each one costs a dollar. So you've got sell it for 10, subtract the dollar that it costs you. That's nine dollars. Then you've got to pay Amazon their stuff. Let's say that's five dollars. So you make five dollars a profit on these, uh, five dollars profit a sale on these, and so five times two hundred or three hundred. Let's just say five times three hundred units. That's 1500. Is that right? Is that the right math? 1500. Yeah. So like th this, these, this product right here, I'd say there's potential to launch this. And if you can get, I'd say probably like 10 to 30 reviews on it, you could make like a grand 1500 fairly quickly with this product. 
but then to try and like make more with this product, you'd have to start getting into like a, get closer to a hundred reviews and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, like you, I think someone could launch this right now and start making like a grand a month with it profit. 